Hello friends, today we will discuss about how to record an ECG in a, we are, we are, right now we have a normal person here, so how to record this ECG, okay. First whatever, what instruments we require, this is an ECG machine, okay, an electronic ECG machine, I am just uh, owning the like uh, power button, okay, I have just on the machine and uh, we have uh, this cardiac jelly, okay, and we have cardiac jelly and electrodes, these are known as limb electrodes, okay. So, basically all these electrodes, four electrodes, limb electrodes, I will show you how to place it. Right now, just concentrate here, these are the six chest leads, okay. So, all these are connected by the wire and ultimately they are connected by this cord to this ECG machine. Right now, you can see this, all this, there is a straight line because we have not connected the limb leads. Once we connect the limb leads as well as the chest leads, we will get the graph. Okay. Now, let us start it. So, see there are even the color codings also, but even there is a name written as R here. R indicates this right arm. Okay. So, right arm means uh, we have to put it on the arm, but uh, for the sake of convenience, even we can place this electrode. Electrode means a wire with a metallic strip. This is an electrode. Okay. So, if we just put it like this. So, this is on the right arm. Then we have one more limb bulb electrode, this is the left arm, okay. So, again we have to put this jelly, this jelly is just for the conduction of that electrical impulses, okay. So, that electrical impulses which is, uh, uh, which are there, it is recorded ultimately in this machine, okay. So, we have to place there, and then we have foot, we have foot, left foot, okay. We have the left foot here, so we have to keep here left foot. So here left foot, okay. Then this is a ground electrode of our earthing. So we can, this is a neutral electrode, okay. We have to place this on the right foot. This is how we place the, see once I have placed it, you can see the straight lines. Now these straight lines, now the record will be see in the limb leads. See the, how the straight lines, now we are getting the typical PQRST complexes in the bipolar limb leads 1, 2 and 3, okay. 1, 2 and 3, we are getting it, okay. Now, now we will place the chest leads. So, chest leads, 6 chest leads, they are marked as from V1 to V6, okay. So, first chest, chest leads, this is a V1 uh, location. First, we have to identify the suprasternal notch here and from the suprasternal notch, just go down and on the sternum, a ridge will be there that is on a sternal notch or angle of Louis. So, this will correspond to the second rib, okay. So, on the right side here second rib and just there is a second intercostal space then third rib, third intercostal space then fourth rib, fourth intercostal space. Now, on just lateral to the fourth intercostal space, okay, uh, lateral to the sternum in the fourth intercostal space, we have to place V1 and on the left side of the fourth intercostal space, we have to place V2, okay. So, this is how, how you need to place it as V1, this is V1, okay. So, ideally there should not be any hairs and all, if there are hairs and also this may not stick properly, okay. So, ideally there should not be any hairs and all. So, this is V1 and this is V2, okay, one on the left side, one on the right side. Then, then we have V3 and V4, so first I will place V4 instead of V1, okay. It is not sticking, I will ultimately do it later, but right now, just concentrate here. So, in the mid clavicular line, you have to identify this is a clavicular, mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space, this was the fourth, next is fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line, okay. In the mid clavicular line, in the fifth intercostal space, you need to, you need to place in this V4, okay. I am not using V3 still. So, this is the V4. Then in between this V2 and V4, we have to place the V3. So, V3 electrode will be in between this V1 and V2, okay. So, V, this is V3. So, over. Okay, so this is how you need to place it. So we have placed the four electrodes. Okay, we have placed the four electrodes. Now we'll place the V5 and V6. Okay, so here see because of this hairs and all, we are finding it difficult. 
to place the things okay i'll just uh, try it once again so this is the v3 in between v2 and v4 and this is the v1 on the fourth intercostal space on the lateral side now we have placed the fourth electrode now you have to identify, identify the anterior axillary line in the fifth intercostal space we have to place the v5 okay so this is the v5 so we have to place here okay and finally v6 in the mid axillary line in the same fifth intercostal space okay this is how we place the six electrodes okay v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 and already we have placed the uh, electrodes on the limbs now same thing is recorded here even you can see the heart rate heart rate here uh, that is 77 right now it will vary uh, sinus rhythm now we have to just uh, put the print button okay then once you press this uh, print button it is sampling now it will sampling then it will show the analysis and finally it will print and will get a printout from here and this is a three channel ecg okay three channel ecg machine so we will receive the uh, graph in three channels okay now you can see this is the print what we are getting right now so totally there are 12 leads in an ecg 12 leads in an ecg and this is a computerized uh, ecg machine here even we can get the diagnosis but uh, all the time we should not be reliable on the diagnosis many a times it can be even there will be a lot of uh, mistakes or errors so we have to stick to our clinical skills so basically what you get here is you have to identify the 12 leads what are that limb leads limb leads 1 2 3 then augmented limb leads avr avl and avf then six chest leads v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 okay so in each of the leads at least three cardiac cycles we can see this pqrst pqrst so three waves so minimum three cardiac cycles we have to record in all the leads lead 1 2 3 avr avl avf v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 okay then finally even heart rate and other intervals are recorded here and even the diagnosis is given it is a sinus rhythm that is the normal ecg okay so this is how you record the normal electrocardiogram thank you